Let's work a problem together to see if we can get our heads around this sort of concept. We're going to calculate a number that you will use throughout the rest of your nuclear career, the energy equivalent of one atomic mass unit, or AMU. As we progress through this course, you'll see why this is an important number. The definition of an atomic mass unit is one-twelfth of a carbon-12 atom. And I want you to calculate what's its energy equivalent in MEV. Well, all right, where do we start? Well, it's probably an E equals MC squared thing, right? So here's C, the speed of light. And somewhere or another, we'll probably use Avogadro's number. And here it is. Maybe that'll help. And you know why, right? Because 12 grams of carbon-12 is one mole, and one mole has 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon-12 atoms. Got it. Now, what the heck is an MeV? Well, it's a million electron volts. Oh, okay, what's an electron volt? An electron volt is the amount of energy that one electron gains falling through one volt of potential. That doesn't seem like a very big amount of energy, and and it's not. But in terms of molecular and nuclear stuff, it's about the right size. Chemical bonds are measured in EVs, and the energy in a nucleus is measured in MEVs, roughly speaking. Get used to using EVs and MEVs because they are the basic energy term we're going to spend a lot of time talking about. Given that, let's get started. Albert's E equals MC squared formula is best handled in SI units. This means the energy would be in joules, the mass would be in kilograms, and the speed of light would be in meters per second. Before we can go very far, we need to know how to convert back and forth between EV and joules. Here you go. 1 EV is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. (laughs) Yeah, an EV is small. And that's all the pieces you need. Hit the pause button, get a pencil and paper, and work this out. You won't remember it if you don't work with it. Well, hopefully you got 931.5 MeV per AMU. If so, good job. If not, figure out where you went astray. Before we march too far away, let me try and give you an idea of how big a jewel is. It helps a lot to have some mental idea of how big things are so you can see if your calculations make any sense. An alkaline AA battery has about 9,000 joules in it. This is equivalent to delivering one watt for 9,000 seconds, right? A watt is a unit of power equal to one joule per second. One amp times one volt equals one watt. You remember all this. And finally, let's look at all the SI prefixes because we use some you probably haven't seen. 